This is Time Warner Cable's Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. Our guest, Emily Von Henry. She is the Vice President of Technology at Green Dot Public Schools, which are what? Green Dot Public Schools, we're a charter management organization in Los Angeles area. We currently have 19 schools in LA and one in New York. Um, we, are, we consider ourselves transformation, a transformation organization where our goal is to transform education for inner city students in the Los Angeles area. Well, I think it's fair to say Green Dot is one of the forerunners in the we charter of, movement. I mean, Steve Barr, who I've known for years, he yeah. founded Green Dot. It's got to be 10 years ago, no? It's 10 years ago, I was correct. Say, yes. right. So you focus on technology. Not surprisingly, you have a beautiful iPad that I may hold up. You can't <laughs> even see it. I love my wife's iPad. Tell me about the importance of technology to students today. Technology is a pivotal, one of the pivotal, I think, core values that we need to instill in our students Listen today. To that core value, technology being yes. a core value. It's a, I, a core value. We're too old to feel that it's a core value, yeah. but our kids will feel that. Our kids, well, it's a core value. Mm -hmm. Just give an example. I mean, students today are coming into the classroom where at home they have the Wii, Nintendo, they have the iPad, Come to the mind. iPhone. And they come into a classroom and we're back to open your book to page 45 and let's read. And there's no engagement or interaction with learning there. And you put an iPad or a computer in a classroom and the engagement just lights up with students, especially students with different learning styles. I have to ask you, I'm digressing, but mm -hmm. I feel as if if my kids are playing Wii or on the iPad, it's better than if they're putting their face in front of the boob tube. Am I wrong? I mean, at least they're doing something. They are doing something. And, and if you think about it, I mean, I am also a gamer um, right. as well. So I started as a computer programmer, so I have two children. And I cannot get them out of playing games and Is so that forth. Bad? It's it, it depends on who you talk to. Okay. I look at it as, for instance, I know gaming teaches kids strategy, and it's something right. that we don't teach in your traditional K twelve school. You need to plug in ten percent yes, low battery. I know battery. ten percent low battery. You of all people. <laughs> you of all people. Yes, ten percent low battery. So what is Green Dot doing to instill the core value of technology? Well, what are we doing? Um, we are basically infusing technology with all of our students. And I'll give you an example. So we're the first charter school, when you think about technology, Steve Barr, the green dots, when right. you look at a map of Los Angeles, Steve Barr strategically identified where technology was located in Los Angeles. So that way, when we open our schools, we can tap into the technology networks. that was already there, networks, phone Time systems. Time cable so networks, first, of course. Phone <laughs> systems. And so for us, that was the first you know, introduction to technology, but also giving kids access. So Green Dot, we're the first charter school today that every single student has a Green Dot email account. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, the ones that have access at home, they have access to Microsoft Office, you know, tools. They can blog each other, engage. They what can about iPads? I mean, is it time that we need to give every child an iPad? Easy to say, we but... We really need to look at that. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you, I was in Utah a few weeks ago, and there's a company called iSchools that are really transitioning how we deliver curriculum and content to students with an iPad. I have to tell you, you give a six year, uh, sixth grader who's a second language learner student an iPad, and the engagement is right. amazing. But I need to hold my book, but not my daughter's. Is that the case? Yes. They can just... It's generational. The way it's generational. So, I mean, I have a good example. A friend of mine has a three-year-old. I mean, I left my iPad and she would not give it back to me. I had to three. leave. Three. She's three. three. She is three. And she already knew by default to change the, to touch the screen the and fl flip the pages. And her mom says, I didn't teach her that. It is she remarkable. It is so are we on our way? in terms of Green Dot and other charter schools to bring in that core value of technology? Correct, we are in our way. And actually the state will force us to do that with Common Core. There you have it. Her name is Emily Vaughn Henry. She is Vice President of Technology of Green Dot Public Schools. My name is Brad Palmer. Thank you so much for watching Time Warner Cable's Local Edition.